Okay, now we're gonna work on our tempo and our turn. Uh, we're gonna borrow a few drills from our uh, trail foot series and uh, adapt them for our tempo. If you haven't watched the trail foot series, I recommend you watch it. Uh, it's not completely necessary, but it will help you understand what's going on here. So first, I want you to take your pipe and put it across your chest. What we're gonna do is we're gonna turn back. And remember, your back turn is a shoulder move. We're not using our hips or our feet in this. It's done with our shoulders. And what we're trying to do is think about someone turning at your shoulders and twisting you down into the ground. So what you'll feel is your foot, particularly your trail foot, will be twisting against the ground. So as you turn, you feel that trail foot twisting. And when you feel like you can't twist anymore, when your trail foot is saying, hey, I'm at my limit, I can't turn anymore, you turn back on your downswing. So you use your trail foot for your trigger. So it's turn and twist your trail foot. It's turn and twist. Now this is a tempo drill, so what you're trying to do is work with different speeds to get used to a speed on your back turn and your forward turn that you're comfortable with. Well, like I said, what I use for my trigger on when I should turn back down is my trail foot. I try to get a good coil as I go on the back turn. I really try to feel like I'm getting screwed right down to the ground. And to do that, you turn your shoulders in the back swing. So it's turn and twist, or turn, feel your trail foot screaming at you, can't go anymore, and then downswing. Now remember, there's not a pause at the top. It may look like there's a pause, but I don't want you to pause. What's happening is, as I turn my shoulders, and my trail foot twists into the ground. When it can't twist anymore, I start turning it. And to overcome that backwards inertia takes a moment. So it looks like there's a pause there, but it's really not. It's that moment in time, that short moment when my trail foot is overcome the iner overcoming the inertia of my shoulders turning backwards. So practice with some different speeds. This is going to be your primary drill, this one with the pipe, to learn your speed. Uh, later we'll do it with a club, but right now do it with a pipe and learn your speed. And then get comfortable just with a good tempo, good back and forth, no pause at the top. Now whatever tempo is comfortable for you, that's fine. But experiment with different tempos. Do fast and slow and everything in between. See what you get. If you ever think you want to speed up your drill or speed up your turn, this is the drill you would use to do it. Just Let's try one really fast. How fast do you think I can do it? So, you can do it fast, you can do it slow. Now, different golfers, have different tempos. You'll have to find the right one for you. But this drill is go a good one for experimenting with your tempo and learning your tempo. But again, you want to turn back with your pipe. No stopping at the top. Just turn back. And when you hit your trigger, turn down. Now for me, the trigger, like I said, it's my trail foot. When it starts digging into the ground and can't turn anymore, then I turn forward. <laughs> 